Hello and welcome to Simon's Shed. Today we're going to review a Metcalf card kit. It's the uh, brewery in Engage and it's product code PN129. Uh, so you can see you get quite a large uh, brewery with lots of different buildings. And if we have a look on the back, we can see in more detail as to what we get. We get all of these buildings within the kit, ignore that one. Um, so the warehouse, brew house, ale store, office and bridge so that we can have uh, the buildings connected together and there's lots of different ways to configure this so uh, let's open it up and see what's inside okay we've got uh, some instructions obviously so uh, a little bit about what we need to uh, complete the kit and how to uh, separate the bits out from the card and do the glazing. So we'll have a quick flick through the uh, instructions, get a general idea of why we're going. And then have a quick look at the kit in card form unbuilt. So for such a, a lot of different buildings, the instructions look fairly straightforward. Let's have a look what we've got here. So we've got the brewery. And the ale store building. And the office building. the roof. Okay, the brewery hoist. Oops. And these look like the bases. And the roof. And here's all the glazing. Okay, looks interesting. Let's uh, have a go at putting it together and I'll uh, let you know how I got on and we'll see how long it takes. Okay, so there are the finished buildings. Um, they were easy to build. They all, all of the, the four main buildings that you can see, use almost exactly the same method for putting them together. So you put the glazing in, you put some floor spaces on the bottom, put the floors in, <coughs> wrap them around. So once you've done the first one, uh, the other three are really easy to do. Uh, quick to build, I can't give you an exact time because as you just saw uh, for some reason decided to do a stop uh, animation of the whole <laughs> process which made the process about five times longer than it would have been if I'd have just built the kits but never mind uh, it was fun to do so uh, yeah really quick to build uh, good instructions happy with the result uh, you can see you get quite a, a nice chunky range of buildings to, to make your brewery um, and the bridge here is just blue tacked on at the moment but obviously you can connect that wherever you want um, and this can go wherever you want and this building is supposed to connect so if you wanted that in a corner like that you could have that round the back and as you can see this little entrance building can go in different places as well so there's quite a lot of flexibility which is good um, you get some 
a little bit of extra uh, platform edging and canopy edging so you could uh, like a canopy roof there and some platform surfaces so you could make some more of this and uh, add to the uh, platform or canopies if you like so good flexibility uh, yeah really good two really strange errors um, if I'm being picky uh, there are more e extras on sheet A and spare components for customization which is really odd because the instructions are absolutely perfect English um, but there's two glaring errors on the uh, actual sheets doesn't make any difference but uh, there you go uh, apart from that not really any criticisms other than the usual thing with these kits which is the white lines around the edges but that's fixable uh, with a bit of paint and a bit of uh, time so yeah thanks for watching I will see you again soon ta -da!